Hello guys, welcome back. Now, today in our this lecture, we are going to start with the second method of solving the linear equation and that is elimination method. In our previous lesson, we have discussed about substitution method. Now, let us discuss about elimination method. Elimination means eliminate. Eliminate means something to be get removed from the equation. So here in elimination method, what we do, we actually remove any one variable completely from the equation so that we can find the value of the second variable, whether it can be x, it can be y or any other variable. So the more ne most necessary thing is to so remove one of the variable. So here I have taken exercise 3.4 question number one third part and our equation is 3x minus 5y minus 4 equals to 0 and the second equation is 9x equals to 2y plus 7. Now here you can see that we are given with two equations but are they in the same format means there is some shuffling, the place has been replaced from this to that. So let us first of all write it in a proper format which will be feasible for us to solve. So very first for equation number one, if I start the solution, so for first equation, can I write the same equation as 3x minus 5y equals to 4. So I shifted minus 4 to the right hand side. And this I have taken as equation number 1. So our first equation is now being in the form of 3x minus 5y equals to 4. In the similar manner, if I write this second equation, so can I write it like 9x minus 2y equals to 7. So this is our second equation. Here I have replaced, I have just transformed y variable to the left hand side. Now you can see that our equations are somewhat like in the manner. They are somewhat alike in the manner. So now let us start putting the method of elimination. So elimination means we need to just completely remove. Like in the previous method we have just substituted the value. Here we want to completely remove any one variable from the equation. So how we are going to do that, the most convenient way is to remove the first variable that is x. So what I feel feasible and easy is to remove the value or you can say the variable x from both the equations. So here how we are going to do that as you can see that in our first equation what is the coefficient of x? It is 3. And in the second equation, what is the coefficient of x? It is 9. So a very easy method is we will multiply the second equation with the coefficient of first equation of x. So what is the coefficient here? 3. So we will completely multiply the whole equation by 3, which is the coefficient of first equation that is of variable x only. Now, Similarly, we need to multiply something with equation 1 also and what will be that coefficient of x of equation number 2 and that is 9. So we will multiply the first equation by 9 and second equation by 3. Now let us see what we are getting after multiplication. So our equation number 1, you can say that equation 1 becomes So what our equation number 1 become? It becomes 27x, 3 9s are 27x minus 9 5s are 45y equals to 36. And let us suppose this as equation number 3. This is our equation number 3. Then similarly, our equation 2, what does it will look like? So our equation number 2 will become 9 3s are 27x and then 3 2s are 6y equals to 3 7s are 21 
and let us suppose this is equation number 4. So students till now we have just multiplied the coefficient of first equation with the second and coefficient of second equation with the first. Now as you can see that the coefficient of x in both the equations are equal or you can say they both are 27. So now can we just simplify these two equations? So let us subtract these two equations. So subtracting, subtracting equation 3 and 4. So now we will subtract equation 3 and 4. So it will be like 27x minus 45y equals to 36 minus 27x minus 6y equals to 21. So students, this minus is actually when we are subtracting the equations, the symbols get changes up. So the plus will become minus. This minus will become plus. And again here the plus will become minus as you all are aware how to subtract the equations in your previous chapter like algebraic expression and all. So now let us perform the operation 27x minus 27x get simplified and the final answer is 0. Then minus 45y plus 6y so minus 45 plus 6 what it will give us? It will give us 39y equals to 36 minus 21. And what it will give us? 36 minus 21 will give us 15. So 45 minus 6, 39. And 36 minus 21 will give us 15. So can we get the value of y from here? As you can see that our x is completely eliminated. That is why this method is called elimination method. Now the value of y is y is equals to 15 upon minus of 39. Shifting this minus 39 in the denominator. Simplifying it up here, 3 5s are and 3 13s are. So the value of y is equals to 5 upon minus 13. This minus we can write in the numerator. So this is our first value. The answer of first variable y is equals to minus 5 upon 13. Now we need to find the value of x also. Yes. So how we are going to do that? Same. We can put this value of y in any of the equation putting the value of this y in any of the equation will give us the value of x so where to put it either you put it in equation number one or two or you can also put it in three and four more easier is to put in one and two because they are in a very simple format so now i will put y is equals to minus five upon 13 in equation number one so let us put y is equals to minus 5 upon 13 in equation number one and let's see what is the answer so our equation will become 3x minus 5 with the value of y as minus 5 upon 13 equals to 4 let us solve it up here minus 5 into minus 5 will give you plus of 25 upon 13 equals to 4 shift 25 upon 13 to the right hand side so it will become 3x equals to 4 minus 25 upon 13 clear moving forward 3x is equals to lcm taking the lcm here so lcm is 13 now 13 fours are 52 minus 20 5. So 3x is equals to 52 minus 25. It will give you 27 upon 13. Now get the value of x. So x is equals to 27 upon 13 and this 3 will also come in the denominator. So multiplied here. So the value of x is 3 
9s are. So the value of an x is 9 upon 13. So students, you can see that by using the elimination method, we had finally found the answer of x and y. And this is our solution. So at the last, you can write so the solution to the given equations is x is equals to 9 upon 13 and y is equals to minus 5 upon 13. So this is how we use elimination method to solve a pair of linear equation. What I personally feel that elimination method is more convenient and more easy as compared to substitution one and there is very low risk of any mistake if you do the calculation very carefully. I hope this topic is clear to all of you. Thank you for the lesson.